to have its own satellite navigation system, which means that the sp Space Agency, Indian Space Research Organization, is gearing up for the launch of the seventh and the final navigation satellite, IRNSS-1G, by the workhorse launch vehicle, PSLV C-33, from the spaceport of Sriharikota, which is about 80 kilometers from Chennai today. The launch would take place from the first launch pad at 12.50 p.m. With this launch, India would be joining the elite group of nations to have its own regional satellite navigation system. So far, India has launched six regional navigational satellites as part of a constellation of seven satellites to provide accurate position information service to the users across the country and the region. We give you a detailed report. The 51.5-hour countdown for the launch of India's seventh and final navigation satellite, IRNSS-1G, by the workhorse launch vehicle, PSLV C-33, would be launched from the first launch pad at 12.50 hours. The satellite is part of a constellation of seven satellites to provide accurate position information service to users across the country and the region. We are on the threshold of completing a navigational satellite constellation which is going to provide India and its surroundings an independent geopositioning system. And this is a unique system which has been evolved with the intention of providing to the country an independent navigational service. We have gone for a regional navigational satellite service which requires only seven satellite constellation. IRNSS 1G has a lift off mass of 1425 kg and carries two types of payloads navigation payload and ranging payload. The seven satellite will complete India's regional navigation system on par with the United States Global Positioning System or GPS that provides location and time details accurately to everyone around the world. Once the regional navigation system is in place, India need not depend upon other platforms. With the fully operational IRNSS, it will be easy to track terrestrial, aerial and marine navigation. It will also help in the times of disaster management, vehicle tracking and fleet management. The integration of IRNSS with mobile phones will help mapping and aid for hikers and travellers visual and voice navigation for drivers. DD News. Our correspondent Philip Matthew is joining us with more details. Philip, the countdown has already begun and we know that India is all set to launch its seventh navigational satellite. What does it mean? Or before that, tell us, uh, is the countdown uh, going on smoothly? And also, uh, tell us when is it expected to get operational if the mission is successful? Philip? countdown for the launch of India's seventh and final level. Well, as you can make out uh, from behind me, the screen behind me, the countdown proceeding has continued. In fact, uh, in fact, uh, the, uh, the uh, scientists that I've been speaking to say that uh, things are going as per plan. Uh, the last minute checks have been carried out. In fact, a few filling operations have been more or less completed. Uh, now, parameters, the basic parameters of the satellite as well as the launch vehicle have been checked at the moment. A series of uh, such tests will be carried out uh, till the launch time. And uh, thereafter, of course, uh, all, uh, all eyes will be on the launch pad to, to see whether the uh, laptop will be as, uh, as perfect as, as it normally is. Uh, don't forget, we're talking about uh, the PSLV, an extended version of the PSLV, which is being used as a launch vehicle this time. Uh, it, the PSLV, of course, is a workhorse of ISRO. It's a vehicle that, uh, that has uh, functioned uh, almost, uh, with almost 100% uh, reliability. Uh, over the last uh, uh, few years. And uh, this particular launch, of course, is significant because uh, it completes the constellation of uh, seven regional navigation satellites that will provide India a first indigenous navigation system, and, uh, which will be an alternative to more established systems like the American GPS. So the idea, of course, is to reduce dependence on foreign service providers mm. and ensure that uh, all navigational services are provided within the country's borders uh, this, of course, has uh, security implications as well, uh, because don't forget uh, navigation these days is being used in all sorts of areas, including the military. And uh, therefore, uh, this will have profound implications uh, uh, for, for both India's security as well as India's economic advancement. 
Uh, yes, Philip, you're telling us about its significance. Now, we, do, we know that with this, with the seventh satellite, uh, the IRNSS constellation will be completed. And this, uh, if this is achieved, India will establish the feat and it will be one of those five nations. Uh, it, it will add on to those five nations who have achieved this feat in the world. Tell us, uh, by what time can we expect that to be operational? Well, uh, you know, there are a series of tests that have to be carried out once the seven satellite reaches its desired orbit. All the seven satellites will be put through a series of tests uh, over a period of three to six months uh, to ensure that, uh, you know, not only is it uh, providing accurate positional information, but also to, to ensure that, you know, there are about 11 uh, control stations, tracking stations all over the country, and in, uh, they have to also ensure that these uh, tracking stations are keeping uh, you know, uh, proper, uh, a proper uh, account of what's, uh, what the signals that have been sent from the satellite. So uh, th there is a great deal of uh, fine tuning that needs to be done. But uh, uh, what scientists tell us is that uh, they've carried out initial tests with, uh, with around four to five satellites, which are already uh, up in the sky. And they say the tests have been very encouraging and that uh, the positional accuracy that uh, these satellites have been able to provide is within a range of up to 20 meters, which is which is extremely good. In fact, it's it's better than some of the other navigation systems uh, being provided uh, by countries like Japan, Russia, and of course uh, the American GPS. All right, Philip. Thank you so much for joining us with those details. We'll come back to you again during the day to get more on the actual launch. Thank you for joining us this morning.